Well, what's up America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel. Coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I thought I'd uh, do a little commentary on a Hurricane Matthew. Uh, and I always need to uh, be good to prepare for a hurricane. And uh, I've been preparing for it and I'd like to give a little shout out to one of my um, uh, things that I uh, prepare with a hurricane for and that's um, uh, the old uh, Angry Orchard uh, uh, hard cider it kind of helping me get prepared for the hurricane. And uh, so anyhow, <coughs> I was thinking about um, getting prepared. They said uh, you needed to do it. And uh, the governor was on the TV. And uh, the deaf people speaking thing was on the TV. I don't understand why they got them in every one of them emergency things. Uh, they're up there uh, hand signing and everything like that. I thought they had the closed captioning. And I mean, I don't want to insult the deaf people or nothing, but can't they read? Or I don't know what's going on with that, but they always got them up there. Anyhow, so I was thinking, uh, I needed to prepare for a hurricane. Now, you know, in an earlier um, uh, video, I told you that I moved into a mobile home. Now, my mobile home is uh, got the hurricane tie downs and everything like that. So uh, I'm uh, pretty safe about that and everything. But uh, in all these uh, hurricanes that have been going on and everything, there's, things are changing. You know, you got your global warming and you got your El Ninos and all of that stuff and things is changing. And you see it on the news every night. It's all different. And so I was thinking I need to prepare for the inevitable. I watched some shows on the TV to help me out and the Doomsday Preppers is one of them that I watched and then I read another book and it kind of helped me out too. I read the Bible and there's a story in there about Noah and the Ark. And so um, them two things got me to thinking, <coughs> excuse me, about what I should do to prepare for the hurricane in my mobile home trailer. And so what I did is I went down to the junkyard and I got me some a uh, bunch of 55 gallon drums and I brought them all back up here to the house and I tore the skirting down off of the house and uh, I cut off them there um, uh, tie down things that tie it down to keep it from blowing over in the hurricane and well, I, I didn't tell them off exactly I made a quick release on them and I fixed that up and I put the tongue back on the trailer now you know what a tongue you know they bring the mobile home in they got a tongue just like a regular trailer you know what I'm talking about a little v-shaped thing so I took that and I uh, put some plywood out on that and made me a deck. And I got me a 150 horsepower Mercury motor. And I put that up there on the front of it and a stern wheel. And uh, so that there's a, uh, that. And then I put the 55 gallon drums. I chained them up underneath the trailer. And uh, put them on there. And I got enough of them on there to float it. So here's the deal. When the hurricane comes. If it don't blow me over, but the flood comes in like it's been a doing everywhere else, I'm going to go there and hit the quick release on the tie downs, and then the barrels will take the charge, and they will float the mobile home up, and then I'll have me a houseboat, and I'll be floating around the neighborhood, checking out everybody and letting people come. I'll rent them like two extra rooms. I could rent them them extra rooms for, you know, I don't know. I'll be fair. I won't charge them too much money. And I might even let them stay for free. I mean, if there's somebody I like, I might let them. If they're good in entertainment, like I am, I'm pretty entertaining, I think. Excuse me a minute. <coughs> Angry Archer. Now, I don't condone drinking and driving, but I do condone drinking and getting prepared for a hurricane. So, anyways, I was just saying, I've got my uh, mobile home set up to be a houseboat. And it's got my drums underneath of it. And no matter what happens, I'm prepared. So there you go. Matthew, come on down, old boy. Jim Bob's prepared for you. Jim Bob's out.